Hi, I'm John Wright Logic. In November 2023, I played a 24-hour marathon of the Bachelor's Route of Pathologic with the goal of earning Jankowski one million money. The stream to fund the Bachelor's Fanatica raised donations for a real-world children's hospital through the charity Extra Life. 24 hours of Pathologic was a fun and strenuous challenge for me, and I'm going to do a similar Hoospex run this November with the goal of killing more people than the plague. But I've since had to face an even scarier challenge processing 24 and a half hours of footage into two and a half hours of highlights. The following video is a chronological series of clips edited together from the stream VOD. Some notes for context. The stream began and ended at 5 p.m. local time. I set up donation incentives that would apply cosmetic mods to pathologic throughout the stream. In addition to milestone events, viewers could donate to make me visit a specific character, upload a custom image into a painting frame, edit the color of the kerosene lamp, and permanently change the name of the bachelor. Everything else will be revealed in the highlights. Enjoy. Once upon a time, in the northern part of our country, there lived a Bachelor of Medicine named Artemi Brach, real. Artemi cared very much about defeating death through the power of modern science, but the powers that be didn't care for him. They cut government funding to his laboratory and threatened to destroy his research. Faced with the prospect of his life's work cl closing, Artemi, real, took matters into his own hands. He would earn one million dollars in a remote step town and fund the laboratory himself. Hi everyone! So let's talk about a little background for the challenge run itself. One million is the stack maximum for money in Pathologic. I don't know exactly what will happen when the bachelor's earnings go over that amount. I don't know if it's technically possible to do that. I'm going to be giving it my best shot. Since money occupies its own inventory slot, maybe the game will break when we go over 1 million. Maybe the money count will overflow back to zero. Maybe nothing will happen at all. We'll find out. To the best of my knowledge, nobody has yet tried to earn a million dollars in this being unable to afford food simulator, but it's not unusual for the bachelor to end the game with a couple hundred thousand in item value in a regular playthrough, so we'll see what's possible with a bit of targeted effort. So the gameplay throughout this day is going to look super different from a typical playthrough. We're going to focus on looting houses. With the help of my awesome data mining colleagues from the Pathologic Modding Wiki and from the main Pathologic Wiki, I've planned out a route that will include only the most financially advantageous quests for Artemi Real, my best friend, and I'll talk about Patho throughout the route as long as my voice lasts. It'll be a bit of an endurance test for me. It'll be a simulator of human being behavior in the situation of extreme. It's the most topical thing that I could have found for Pathologic, to be honest. So before we get started, I'd like to go over our donation incentives and milestones real quick. Donating for certain amounts will add custom mods into the stream. I'm going to be doing these in chunks. I'll need to take a couple of breaks throughout the 24 hours, naturally. So I'm going to add any queued donation incentives into the stream then. Once our total surpasses certain milestones, that would also add mods in, but we're already past all of the milestones that would have added mods in. So start thinking about new ones that you'd like to see, because I feel like we might have to increase the stretch goals. So these are the one the incentives that are available to choose. For a $5 donation to sick kids, I'll go visit and talk to an NPC of your choice in game as long as they're actually present in the game at that point. I'll try to make the visit within 15 minutes of the donation, but if the relevant person is sick, it might take some time depending if we have antibiotics to spare. For a $10 donation to sick kids, you can upload an image of your choice to replace a painting. It'll go into the matching picture frame and appear in the game for the entire run. We already have a couple of these set up, and they are extremely, extremely good so far. We had an incentive to change the color of the bachelor's kerosene lamp, but that's already been claimed. Huge shout out to Pixel Prince. The lamp is now a lovely kind of bright rose pink. And we also had an incentive to change the name of the Bachelor in all game text. That's why his name is now Artemi Brach Real. This was the most potent name that could have been picked. It's going to make things so confusing. I love the anonymous donor who requested it so much. Thank you. And milestones, on the other hand, will be met when the collective total of donations passes a certain threshold. We've already met the first, I think, four now, which is incredible. So the noise that the Bachelor sometimes makes when he takes damage has been replaced with the famous Roblox oof sound, the polyhedron's exterior has a new bisexual pride texture, and the little girl and little boy NPCs have all become eight feet tall in-game. If we make it, or when we make it, I'm very confident about this, to 200 total in donations, I will sing live on stream an alternate version of the Irish folk song The Star of the County Down that I wrote about bad grief. 
And since this is my first time, I set my goal at 250 in total. I feel great about this. And, you know, let me know if you have any soundbite or texture swap ideas that I could throw in as stretch goals for that. And that's everything I had on the housekeeping list. So do we have any questions before I load up Pathologic and get into our run? Yes, we're about to be so nice and kind to the townspeople by ridding them of their worldly possessions. We've, we have effective free reign over this town, and we are absolutely going to exploit that. To the best of my knowledge, nobody has tried to do a money-focused route in Path of 1 before, but the run is heavily inspired by similar runs in Pathologic 2, especially as those that have been done by user Gorkhan Gorkov on the Reddit. So check those out as well. Yes, do you like my bad grief? He's a staple of the channel. He does have a bit of a lag issue that I've never had the chance to fix, but with my current green screen setup, that should be attainable someday. Do we need to watch the entire pantomime, or are we going to jump into earning our money? I think we get the gist of this, but I also am already skipping so much of the content of the game that I'm not sure I want to deprive you of any more of it. I don't think it has started yet. We aren't going to be using cheats throughout the route, just a lot of save scumming. So I'm tempted on whether I want to fly down here and see if I can give you a different angle on the theater conversation. In fact, let's do that. Spice things up a bit. Let's observe Artemi Brach real in his natural habitat. Yeah, that's Artemi Brach fake. <laughs> We've never seen them in the same room until now. And who is this? Artemi Barak, Schrodinger's state? Yeah, I would have thrown in some kind of mod that changes Daniil's appearance if this wasn't the only, like, time that we ever see Daniil. What is up with his collar? Why is it floating around? And thank you for the follows, by the way. What is up with his, his autonomous cravat? Incredible, it has its own joint. His collar is lip-synced more than his face is. Oh, this is such a strong start already. I can see that. You're full of hate. Stuffed or not, it's breathing. Life studio moment. Oh, so, so, so real. It can be healed rather than killed. Yeah, the dream goal is to be able to edit the proprietary life studio head format that stores these talking heads. A long defunct piece of software. You can kind of manipulate the trial demo of the software to get your fingers on some of the details of the example face that it has, and you can almost trick it into loading models from the game, but you can't get anything useful out of it at the current moment. And as a reminder, once this pantomime ends, the healers are actually still on stage. They're just standing down there in the darkness where you can't see them. So real. All right. The history of humanity witnessed a number of catastrophes. This is a person, the story of a person even, who has managed to work a miracle and defeat a seemingly unvanquishable foe. Oh, hi, Eva. We're going to talk to her so few times in the game that it already makes me sad. Great, now this load screen is the five second window that I have to reorient the pathologic window on my screen so that it's not You've covering anything. Mail. Oh, and I do have another little audio mod in here that's going to change our letter received sound just to make things fun for me. Our mission remains obscure. We must figure out the most fruitful approach to earning money and battle a truly unvanquishable foe. And it's faster if we go down the stairs in this direction. Efficiency is the name of the game today. As we come around to talk to Eva, we're going to see the first image upload that we have in the stream. Extremely, extremely good one from my friend Danskovsky. This will be the beacon of my hope throughout the stream as the John in question. We'll see how it goes. How's your backyard barbecue go? Now, this is going to be the first test of what will happen throughout the route with the challenge of me trying to fist fight all of these NPCs. We'll see how I hold up, and I assume I'm going to improve at this throughout the route. 
but optimally we would get hit less. Did the oof sound play, by the way? It doesn't trigger every time that we get hit, but it should... There we go. Okay, I feel like I'm doing a bad job of this. Perfect. Oh, that's okay. Health is basically a renewable research for us. Oh, the range on this guy. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my stream, everyone. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, I actually forgot that we have a, scalp a scalpel in our inventory at the start. I don't want to degrade the durability on our uh, equipment too much at the start. <laughs> and I did this competently in my practice run, too. Hey, Esodus, thanks for the follow. Oh, I heard of, or am familiar with, in Slight, the attack de-randomizer mod. It's not going to be applied to this stream because I love challenge and I hate cheating at pathologic. I would never cheat at pathologic. But it's been on my like radar as something to try out. Okay, this was much better. And for our efforts, we get a important five revolver ammo and two needles. Perfect. Now, the route I have is planned out in a Google document that I have in the corner of my screen right now. And on day one, the main thing we need to do is complete the main quest. If we don't get that done on day one, then we get an automatic game over, we can't proceed with the route, and we're certainly not going to make a huge profit. So to do that, we have to speak to a bunch of people in town. And I've optimized our route for that to cross over with a couple of other events that we can get done on day one, and the trash can looting setup. We don't have any houses that the authorities will condone Daniil breaking into on day one. Or day two, for that uh, matter. So for the beginning of the game, we're going to rely on lockpicks that we get from either Bad Grief or from the uh, kids of the town. We're going to meet the immortal man and save our career. Let's see about that. Hello, Georgi. I can't believe it. Is Dora murdered? This means nothing to me. I'll just do things myself. Everything is- <laughs> Your brother's murder can just as well be called the murder of Bachelor Brach. Real. I will help you in every way I can. I'm convinced that if there is anyone at all that can help us solve this puzzle, then it is you. Awesome. Well, I'm fine with this course of action. Let's admire our name here, too. Artemi Brach. Real. That's what it says on his birth certificate. <laughs> To find out who killed the immortal Simon Kine, the dead man's own family may not want it more than I do. Are we sure about that? <laughs> we need to solve the murder of our father. He is our dad, really. Yeah, they finally made Artemi Brach real after many, many years of his being fake and not real. Pathologic spoiler. Artemi Brach, not clickbait. <laughs> Hello, Victor. The famous Dr. Brach Real. Your arrival is a great honor for us. Victor Kine at your service. Artemi Brach Real at yours. Oh, and we got extremely bad RNG this time. All of these items that appear on the grave can be either milk or bread. And bread is, to the best of my knowledge, a little bit more valuable. So the powers that be have instilled no confidence in us today by giving us three milk drops. This is no setback for us. Yeah, it is a pretty interesting bit of technology in the game that I don't think shows up in many other places, besides how uh, items that appear on the counters of houses are also randomly generated between, like, something or nothing. Like, if you have a plate that's sitting on a table, most of the time that plate is going to be empty. Sometimes it might have a meat or a dried fish or a cracker or something on it. But that is randomly determined in each house. Yeah, we love milk. Milk is one of my favorite things to drink because it is generally fairly cost-effective. And speaking of cost-effective, we're going to stop in at this grocery store here and use our starting money to purchase everything that we can get here. 
So the sell prices of all items are scaled by a fairly set factor throughout the game at each shopkeeper, which is typically the same for each like type of store shopkeeper and different for Bad Grief, who is also counted as a shopkeeper in the game. Same thing with a Broken Hearts bartender. But the item price of each thing also varies individually on each day, and everything in the game is going to sell for the most on day 11. So the playthrough of our item collecting is basically going to be hoard our items until day 11, only selling what we need to get by, and then go on a selling spree at all of the stores to get rid of all of our stuff and try to attain as much money as we can. And uh, just due to Schmauder as being one of the most valuable items in the game, selling for I think something like 25 to 27,000 on day 11, we aren't going to be able to use any of them to cure ourselves or to cure infected townsfolk. And just due to the way that our route pathing works, we are not going to be doing a lot of main quests. So by the end of the game, at least, well, all four of our bound who can be infected are guaranteed to be infected. And those four are the Stamaten twins, Victor and Georgi, as Maria, Mark, and Eva can all never be infected during this route. Awesome for them. And that's going to kind of minimize or make it the most convenient for us to complete our quests because while we interface well with these people that we need to talk to, it's not going to come up a whole lot throughout the route. Let's come over here to see some atrocities being committed against a member of the kin and actually let's not watch that. We can skip it. And we'll just sidle over here and pick up a hearty 10 revolver ammo as well as a revolver itself. Oh, not 10, it's 5, so we have a total of 10 revolver ammo now. Extremely good start. This will come in handy. And that leaves us right by the corner of Isidore's house, from which we just need to have a brief conversation with these guards. Me throwing my hands up in the air with my friends, then all disappearing on the last frame of the cutscene. Exactly. 34 is the point at which carrying water bottles becomes redundant, as each bottle of water will increase 3% of your exhaustion total when used. So any more than that will not be able to be used in a single go. So once we get to 34, all of our remaining water bottles are going to be going into trading with drunkards to try to get um, bandages. We could also trade for tourniquets, but I believe bandages are more valuable and they trade for the same price. They're certainly more effective at restoring health. So we are not going to be opting for any tourniquets that we see on the market. And then we have just a couple more errands to run in the main quest. It's not even 8am yet. And this is one of our other image uploads that we have in the route. I really enjoy this one. It's by the, I think this one's by the same person who donated to change our name. And I'm really getting the correct vibe from it. Artemi Brach Real has so many fans. <laughs> he forgot to specify Real in his will, so the money went to the fake Artemi. And this is why we're bitter rivals now. <laughs> is Metal Gear Solid V a Kojima remake of Pathologic? Yes, I think so. Oh, nice. That is another incentive or a stream reward that I do have in which you can force me to do some push-ups. I'm going to appreciate this throughout the day. It like stops me from sitting in a chair for 24 hours straight. So let me take a brief pause to like uncouple my audio setup and do 10 push-ups on the ground right now. Ah, uh, that was refreshing. I sure hope that many people in chat don't exploit this to torment me. The kids don't trust the adults. That's cool. Well, that's, they play a hospital in an abandoned house in the south of the town, and we will go and do that. Because in addition to being a very advantageous stream for our item collection, we are going to be able to pick up a bunch of other loot in the house. The kids will not complain to us robbing them blind. <laughs> oh, I just realized something. So the thing with the teen season tots being big i'm really hoping to run into some soon so that i can show that off but it uses a model that shows up later in the game for a certain large girl and a large boy and i'm wondering if it would be viable to no probably not i don't think there would be much of a reward to making those into small children instead 
because the issue is kind of that we aren't going to have any cures and we aren't going to save any bound. There is no chance of us getting into the hidden room today. Tragically. It's not that model replacement in Patho hasn't been done, but it's that what model replacement we have is for static models only, and it's a super new development. So we currently, to the best of my knowledge, are not able to replace or modify any of the other models. This one only works because it's a swap with a different model for the same children, which ex already exists in the game, and which is set up to like have the same animation methods that the game would expect for the regular small version. And here we are, the first house that we're actually going to be looting in the route. We can get some crackers off of a plate, that's awesome. Oh, and a whole hawk of meat, perfect. The powers that be have done something nice for us for once, after the abysmal RNG that we got with our uh, crypt drops. Grab a bottle of water. Oh, the water reminds me, I have kind of updated the channel's emotes that should be unlockable with channel points now. So we have some money, we have a schmouter, we have the water bottle still. And I forget what else is in there. I think there's a heart and cash, like cash money, at the point unlockable tier right now. Oh, this is a good cabinet. I'm not sure. I don't think that the loot in this house is predefined. Just that the schmouter is here. <laughs> Patho is one step closer to becoming a farm sim. As soon as we get some way of interacting with the cows, right? Those cows desperately need a purpose. Hello? Hello, big children! It's so good to see you. Look at these things. My best friends, who I will- Oh my god, I should have changed their eyes height. My bad. I should fix that. <laughs> Let's trade. Hello? Please, 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 please. We have nine. No, we have ten. Good start. Hello, young man. It's a bit strange to see a young man NPC coming from this side of the town. I wonder how the boundaries for NPC regional spawning are set, whether they're blurred. Because regions have very specific boundaries that correspond to which parts of the town will get infected while those areas are infected or post-infected. And those don't seem to always correspond to the areas that a certain NPC can go to. However, if you have an NPC who's off the pathfinding grid, that NPC will try to find its way back to the closest point on the grid. And I'm wondering whether that applies to NPCs who are in regions that they shouldn't be. Oh, the big teensies in the background. This is so good. Let's do a quick save, and we'll see how much distance I can get. Our health is not quite full, so I'm probably going to take a lot of hits here. Sorry in advance, man. Oh, perfect. That's the first and only time I've avoided getting hit by his first attack. Nice. Not my worst job. Unfortunately, we can't loot this guy. We are just going to run back over to... Uh, young vlad and get his money for it exactly what the dream architects would have wanted so let's get in here and now this door is going to stay unlocked for the rest of the day which is useful for us now the townsfolk in here will get pissed off if they see us take anything but there is a strategy to how we do it well, first off they have to have items for us to take right i swear something is busted with the setup at the moment only certain item, certain uh, object containers trigger theft warnings at all. These towns are poor as hell. So real. They have nothing. I might have to reload this one just on its own. Now that one has some items in it. And if I steal them, it will alert that guy. Nobody sees me take this water though. Yeah, this is nothing. Hello? There's a jar of vegetables, that's at least something. Yeah, so if the 
women in the house see you steal stuff, they will have a panic response. If the men see you steal stuff, and if the teenage boys see you steal stuff, they will aggro on you. But their aggro will be reset if you exit the house and go back and <laughs> leave a water bottle and some ibuprofen to their name. That's basically how I'm approaching the stream. Yeah, and then animation can sort of, hello, be exploited to have them not notice your theft. There's one egg. Awesome. And there is a cut of meat here, which is a high value reward. So I think we might have to, yeah, this bread is also good. Have to stick with the drops from this and just go to a different type of house for our next attempt. She's terrified that we picked up our table eight. I would be too in her situation. No, this guy didn't like that. Let's just reset the aggro and try to be a little bit more stealthy about it. And that should now have implemented two of our new images and our new portrait. Did it work? Yes! Artemi Barach, real, my best friend, is now in the game. <laughs> the aspect ratio of this was just a little bit off from what's handled by it, but I think the fade with his hair isn't too bad, right? Yes, yeah, so let's let's all thank Say No to Snake for this incredible image, the new face of our protagonist. <laughs> um, let's let's greet our friend Andre, and we're also going to see another of our stream um, image incentives. <laughs> Let me get over here to like try and get a better look at it. The monolith has granted me my with. <gasps> they tried to erase the name of Dankovsky from the game, but he crept back in. We have Royal Dansk Aki. <laughs> Incredible. He haunts us even now. <laughs> this is another of our uh, awesome uploaded image donation incentives. On display in Lara's house. I didn't know where this would show up when I placed it, so I'm glad this is someplace that's useful. Anyway, we don't really need to speak to Lara. I'm just going to sneak past her and use her bed. Assign Bruch at town. There's a dog. Hello. Hello, puppy. We could try to chase down and attack that dog if we wanted, but I don't think it would be possible with the speed at which we move. It reminds me of all of the voice lines in the original localization where people would say like Haruspricus because they didn't know how to pronounce any of the words that they were given. <laughs> the morning of the second day has come. So now we can defraud Laura. Laura. They do call her Laura in the 2005 translation, so I'm technically kind of correct. Day two, in which we accept the emergency powers to continue killing and maiming with impunity. Hi, Lara. Did you miss me? It's been so long. What? Now, our above bed portrait should have been one of the ones replaced. Yes, it's another of these. So glad to hear it. So let's stow in here um, six cans of vegetables. The bread is a common drop, so I'm not going to grab that back. I think we're going to get some more milk soon in the route. We can put away our fish. We want to keep the nuts for trading. But we can put away a couple of the types of our meat that we have. And that should be decent. And I will be so mad if something in the game causes these to disappear, by the way. I do feel like this position right at the top of Peter's house would be a really good candidate for having a mobile door object like the one that's at Eva's top floor. That would create an interesting kind of mechanical physical parallel between Daniil and Peter. I'm just going to grab this trash can before we head back south. Like, it looks like a door frame that's just waiting for a rotating door to be placed in it. And the symbology of a door seems like one that would be fairly decent with Peter. Kind of in the sense of his being unable to leave and wanting to leave and being pinned in place and, you know, opening the door to new possibilities in architecture. There's a little bit of depth to explore. 
Yes, we've just had a donation from Jeff Does Extra Life. Thank you so much, Jeff. That puts us finally past the $200 raise mark. We're actually at $217 out of the initial goal of $250, which is incredible. Again, thank you everyone so much for your support. And this has unlocked our last fundraising milestone that I had set up for this. Well, let's get our gun and let's get our concert going. I need a weapon, Grief. Everybody needs a weapon. Got a million? We even get you something that shoots for a million. Oh, I'm trying, baby. There ought to be a gun somewhere around, eh? Just one, pretty please. But everything has its price. <laughs> that price tag befits an artillery mortar. The twist of this route is actually going to be us capturing the big gun and selling it to Grief. All right, so are any of you as, like, as of the moment familiar with the Irish folk song, The Star of the County Down? get this turned off for just a bit and i do also want to do one more thing there we go yeah without further ado here's our I said adieu as if it was like the word goodbye <laughs> here's our beautiful song about bad grief By a warehouse south of the park in the mouth that September that went awry. From an alley free came an NPC, and he smiled as he passed me by. He looked so grand from the knife in his hand to his skirt and his short red hair. Such a coaxing elf, sure I shook myself, for to see I was really there. From Stamatin's loft to the bonestake lot and the polyhedron's crown. No maid I've seen like the red bad grief that I met in the Gorchon town. As he onward went, sure I scratched my skin, and I coughed with a feeling rare. And I say, says I, to a passerby, who's the bound with the bright red hair. He smiles at me, and he says, says he, that's a vile and heartless clown. Every grief villain from the criminal village, he's a scourge of the Gorkhon town. From the abattoir to the still water, and the polyhedron's crown. No maid I've seen like the red bad grief that I met in the Gorkhon town. At the humble square, he'll be surely there, so I'll dress in protective clothes. With my bandage right, and my saint in sight, for a cure from my bright red rose. No meat I'll smoke, no bulls I'll yoke, till my veins they are rust-colored brown. Till a healing gleam in my own bloodstream goes the scourge of the Gorkhon town. From the tadpole yard to the broken heart and the polyhedron's crown. No maid I've seen like the red bad grief that I met in the Gorkhon town. From the shack and yurt to the theater and the polyhedron's crown. No maid I've seen like the red bad grief that I met in the Gorkhon town. Thank you, thank you. I'm here for the next 21 hours. So we'll just take our chances. I do kind of wish that, similar to how Path of Two handles water, we had the keybind option to just eat something off the counter. Just shove it into our mouth and start running. I forgot to do what I said I was going to do, which is fix the model eyes heights. So I will just um, re-pause for a second and see if we, uh, if I have the files pre-made to deal with that. I think I, I don't want to show you Taco Bell, sorry. I don't want to show you our Temi Brach real image. Ignore all of that. <laughs> Everything done with a cl click is replaced with a WarioWare style minigame. I'm imagining like... You know how in Pokemon Diamond Pro Platinum you would have a minigame to mix Poffin correctly? I'm imagining something like that would take the place of the uh, Twiring Extract Brewing. And that would then influence the quality of what you get out of your extract. Yeah, the bad ending of Pathologic is my favorite one though. We don't have enough water for that.
I mean, less so in Path of One than Path of Two, because I'm the deal ending's biggest fan in two. Um, in Path of One, the late ending is kind of sparse and doesn't have much to offer compared to any of the ideological endings in the Bachelor and Truspex's routes. But for the Changeling, it's like really deeply fundamental that the late ending is an equally valid choice for the Changeling to determine. And fundamentally, the one that allows her miraculous twin to save the town in every other timeline. Like that's what it was all about. I do think it's fun to go with a bad ending as the other healers, though. Like, man, all the manipulation I've been put through this past 12 days hasn't really worked on me. I'm just disillusioned now. Sorry, I give up. <laughs> but I really appreciate that Path of One uh, treats this as a valid choice that the player can make in this context, given how Path of Two doesn't with the deal. Holding myself back from saying anything more about that at the moment. <laughs> Here's how Benedict amalgamation theory can still win. Tell the chat about Benedict, by the way. He's a bit of a niche character. A good friend, Bachelor Benedict from the 2002 technical demo. Actually, I mean, I'm in the seat to tell people about Benedict. Uh, Benedict was the original iteration of Dinkovsky from the oldest version of Pathologic that we have. He's a Bachelor of Medicine still, but he says that he doesn't actually know anything about medicine. He's just making things up as he goes along. And he's a very fun character for having only one conversation in his game. In the same vein, Saint Benedict is the patron saint of Italian architects. So I think it, yeah, the guy, the thing about him is that in, like, in his one conversation, he has like 60 chances to ask Maria for a drink of water. The thing that's really fortunate to me is that Pathologic Games' time scale is such that one hour of in uninterrupted in-game time corresponds to two hours of real-world time. So even if we were not seeing load screens and not reloading and not, like, sleeping in-game, which kind of even each other out in my book, this run would take 24 hours at max- What did it- We didn't even touch anything! So I do at least have the solace of knowing that playing through this will probably not take longer than the allocated 24 hours. The character I want to hear about is a lamp lighter in Patho, who deals with setting up all of the lights um, at every 9 o'clock and whatever am of the day. In this world where we've established we don't have electricity. If I wanted to add a new NPC, it would actually be an old woman, just because we are so desperately lacking in them in the game otherwise. <laughs> Katarina being the oldest woman in the game at 36. Seeing teensies- oh, I must be getting tired because I misread that as eating teensies. Yeah, I would love to have some grannies wandering around who would trade you the, like, fabric and clothing and, uh, needle items. who would have a slow walk rate compared to the rest of the NPCs. You could help, literally help a little old lady cross the road without getting mugged by five bandits. I think there would be a lot of possibilities. Ugh. No, that was me to us. Grandma Gorkhan. Yeah, if I ever get the, like, modeling and modding capabilities to add in a new NPC structure. The tables and behavior should be fairly easy to manage, it's just, like, the fact of getting a new model in the game and having that match the pathologic art style that exists is something I have no expertise with whatsoever. Oh, I so badly missed the item from the Bachelor Alpha that was just a regular hardware store hammer that you could hit people with. That you actually couldn't because it didn't have a model, so you couldn't use it in the game. We could have had it all. Yeah, if you come by in one of my Thursdays where I'm while I'm doing the Bachelor Alpha exploration, there are a lot of really good cut items in it. Hammer time, fake. <laughs> 
Foremost among them is, of course, the flamethrower, which we got to use as the player in the alpha. Go hotline Miami on their asses. If I were to keep going with all of them. Hello, rat! Our first rat of the route. Momentous occasion. And very fun, because I just remembered I have to watch out for them. If you don't happen to already have the game files extracted, the Pathologic Modding Wiki has my best tutorials on it. Hello, big rat! Good to see one of those. We're not going to pick it up because it has no monetary value to us. But if you type exclamation point PMW in the chat, that'll send you the link for the wiki in general, and then you'll have to find the list of tutorials for Pathologic. $300 goal. Our Timmy Brach reel eats 10 lemons in a row without making a sour face. That's like $10,000 worth of... I don't think lemons are worth that much. That's like $4,000 worth of money down the drain, though. And it would probably hurt her health bad. Eat one piece of bread, and then we can brave the terror. Right, hopefully this works. There we go. No problem. And we should even be getting the headshot multiplier for each of these fist hits. Don't even need to use durability. Convenient, right? It does make me wonder how the hitboxing is calculated for every other attack that can hit the player character, though. Especially since uh, the deal with looters is so janky on stairs. Yeah. Wait, is there a similar jump on boxes strat for his gang in Path 2? I usually just, like, a good 50% of the time I do that quest, Barley's gang will start attacking Barley instead of me. Which I really love as a gameplay feature. It's probably not intended, but it is fun and good characterization. We should maybe sell some of these knives if we can get back into Andres at any point. Yep, I'm one of the death-seeking test subjects. Here to try the pharmaceutical drugs. Let's get in here. Get to business, dear sir. Now there is a window that we need to go to that's going to allow us to cheese the plague here. The issue is, I don't remember which one. Maybe this. I think it's the elevation of this, not anything else that is useful to us. For at least an hour. Alright, let's just watch the time tick up. I'll check my emails. Oh, a lockpick. That is valuable. We have a couple of those, so it's going to be worth stopping by a couple of the healthy houses later on. We're doing a bit more than breaking even on food, so that's good. Excellent, looking forward to it. Okay, there we go. And now I just need to wait for this... No, I don't need to wait for that. I do need to quick save so that I don't get killed for my hubris. However... Wait, that didn't unlock? Oh, there's only the front door. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was being played. Yeah, well, I'm good. Give me the schmouter. Thank you. Hello, Ruben. Don't mind me just picking this up off your floor. I'm sure. Oh, Ruben has a storage container too. This would have saved me so much trouble. Okay, that's good to know because I don't think Ruben's prosecutorium typically locks. Maybe it locks later in the game when we uh, need to, uh, like when Ruben is in turbo prison. But during day 11, when we're going to need to take items out of storage to sell them, this should be accessible. The kerosene lamp ended up a uh, pink that's actually very similar to the pink that I was testing it with, thanks to pixel prints before the like slightly before the stream started. And I'll actually show that off. We have plenty of kerosene for it. It's kind of nice. It's a warm color, more useful than I thought for the um, situations where I do end up using it. 
Uh, that guy saw me look at his one penny, his first penny that he keeps framed on the wall. And he was so mad. But we're in a very uh, looting focused section of the route right now, which is most of it, to be honest. But the quality of post-infected houses right now is just not good enough to justify going there often. Hawk of meat left on the table. Don't mind if I do. I really appreciate the woman kind of like wailing in agony due to this. I would too if someone took my dinner roast off of the defrosting counter. I've been thinking of some kind of functionality that could be used to get rid of trash items such as rats and chest batches in this route. We do have to traverse some plague to get to Lara. A small sacrifice. I guess it would be nice if we could pack some, like, useless items into a garbage compactor and get something that at least has trade value. Again, if I ever get to implement a, like, old lady character, townsfolk, that would be cool to do. There's a grand mob wandering around the town with a rat collecting hobby. Hi, Ruben. Missed you. Kiss, kiss. Every single day brings me closer to the solution. Ah, oh, glad to hear that. I'm counting on you. Ruben, sweet. Is there anything I want to put into his box? Sorry, that sounded so much like innuendo. I'm not going to answer that question. Put the chest badge here so I can sell it for one at grief later. Hey, why is there a tragedian out here? I don't think that's normal. Is he going to complain to me about how I've been playing the game? What's up with that? Oh, I think he's supposed to be here for the main quest that involves the keys, right? <laughs> oh, you want food? Well, I don't have any to spare, sorry. Interest speaks all How many people have been arrested? Oh, about a hundred? That's not ideal. Okay, well, rest assured. I will speak with Suburov about this. Oh, totally, yeah. I'll help you bribe them. I'll collect as much money as I can. <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. Will you help me? Excellent. I'll try to follow your advice. Thanks. Awesome. A solid 25k, and we're at 97 now, not quite broaching one-tenth of our monetary goal. Again, most of the value in this stream is going to come from selling off our items on day 11. So with one-tenth of the way there, I feel really good about things. Our prospects of earning Artemi Barak real a million dollars are looking bright. Especially since we're still less than halfway through the route. This is more or less the halfway point since day 12 is kind of not a day we can do much on in terms of earning money. So we're going to aim to have things wrapped up by the end of day 11. You know, one thing that's been weird to me about the NPC spawning in this game is that they never show up in the playground areas. I think that's just due to the pathfinding grid being configured to only accept NPC spawns on roads. I'd like some kind of pathological disease, just like in Pathologic. It's a bit subrubs, I guess, because I've walked past everything else in the town. Hi, ma'am. How's your dinner set up? Got anything? Some bread? Sure. I'll take that. How come this guy isn't attacking me? Oh, it just took him a moment. I thought so. Delicious stovetop loaf. Stovetop loaf is just one of those perfect combinations of letters. Of sounds, even. Stovetop loaf would be a great name for a person or for a band. Holiday tradition to leave a loaf out for Mr. Artemi Real as he comes to plunder your home for items and wares. And that loaf was biscotti. Although, I would probably appreciate that if you left it out for me. Ah, a cabinet loaf! Even better than a stovetop loaf. Probably not as stale. 
Yeah, you've got to do it somehow. Actually, I think this is the type of the house where you can cheese it by just standing in this weird corner. This is how we did it for the quest a couple of hours ago. Yeah, they can't get me back here. <laughs> Keep doing this giggle when something is funny in the game. It is not a typical John behavior. <laughs> Mr. Barack Real is built different. He's got the footwork. If the capabilities you can do things that no one else in this town can. Are you sure there's even a million in Gorkhan? I don't think the resources are finite, or if they are, they're. I think they're not limited to a million based on the amount that generates in each of the houses we could potentially loot, in each of the quests we could potentially do, if that makes sense. I think the capacity of items that we could pick up during 24 hours uh, suits that, which I'm attempting to prove at the moment. But we're currently at something like a bit over 150 in our uh, cash. Yes, this is the match money run. Yeah, just slightly over 150 at the moment, and it's only day five, and that's not counting our huge amounts of items saved up that will all be sold together on day 11. Yeah, the goal of the run is purely to earn the Bachelor 1 million money. Ah, but who's to say this wasn't exactly what IPL wanted? No, tragically we don't have babies in this version of the game. I could probably mod babies in, but <laughs> they would be complex to add any kind of decent functionality to. Like, I'd, I could easily put a new item in the game that says, like, baby, and it's a picture of a baby that you can carry around. <laughs> but why? This is our Italian panacea, by the way. Whoever was waiting for that. Temi influencer, real? Or is Finfluencer like a separate thing that refers to something I don't know about? We don't have space for new water bottles, which is a concern. Fin Finfluencer. <laughs> our Temi would love Finfin, fin, but I don't think our Temi Barak real would love Finfin. Fin. Yeah, some of the higher tier clothing has started to drop, it started to become available. Now, I don't know where the- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that explains it. I love the way these guys back up. It's just really engaging in the context of how combat mechanics work with the other NPCs. It's like, they're effectively turning the player's strategy against you. In that the player has to back up in this way to be able to survive against any other type. Sack of money in one hand, sack of rats in the other. So real. <gasps> Stovetop loaf! My favorite. <laughs> Stovetop stove. <gasps> Countertop meat! And now it's 5 a.m. This is the halfway point of the stream. Yippee! Yahoo! Celebration and joy. Oh, only 12 more hours of this to go. Alright, time for our usual water run around. I felt something weird in my voice there. Am I okay? Can I mod RuPaul into Patho? Depends, depends how you mean. Would I is a separate question, and I'm leaning towards no. <laughs> Big Vlad. <laughs> hmm. Not sure how I feel about that one. Would Big Vlad frack is the question. Is that not, like the most like thematically consistent thing that he could do given the culture about digging in the town here finally a lockpick just to help have to hope for luck with it or we'll save scum until we do get a house with a tnc ha perfect all right we will spend our days here until this tnc has 
each matter that we can get. Ominous tall child. Portentous tall child. Let's just start forming some type of cult. Schmatters sell for a bit over 20,000 at the maximum, I believe. Which is extremely worth it compared to any other item. Oh, nothing today. Playing with us. Yes! Hit the Jackport Schmarrow Drillion once more. We're actually going to be able to get six of these, I believe. I am concerned that we're going to run out of hunger and or exhaustion before we get all of our shmatters that we can get off this TNC. <laughs> However, we can just like remember where she is and come back later. Cornering the market for suspicious powder. Well, this TNC is getting rich off of our efforts. She's going to have the most TNC clout in the entire TNC community. From the like hundreds of needles and razors that we've traded her. Spongeboy, my Bob, do you have any schmouter in those pockets of yours? I've never watched Spongebob. You know, I made an audio skit once upon a time about Andre scaring Daniil in Minecraft. It didn't specifically have to be about Minecraft, but that's the only other sound pack that I had extracted. And you know what? Since we are in the wonders of a Twitch stream, I can play that for you right now. Hang on. Danko Fear ASMR. Where is it? MP3 file, play that thing. I'm going to investigate this peculiar dirt. Run, run! What kind of wretched specimen are you? This is utterly inconceivable. Too scared to go on. <laughs> you look bloody evil. This should be prohibited. I almost fell for it. You gawk at me like a dummy. I've had enough. I'm going to the rulers about you. What do you mean he sounds like Patrick Bateman? Someone who cares about Patrick Bateman, please enter my chat so you can confirm or deny this. We've been at this for two ga game hours. And at a four schmouter rate, that's like a decent turnover. We have seven of them in total, that's not too bad. I was thinking about it earlier in the night, and I would argue that the smoked fish is probably the tastiest food that the healers can eat in this town. The eggs aren't really being cooked with anything. The meat doesn't have a seasoning other than smoke itself. Smoked fish is always just good on its own. The vegetables have been in their tin for who knows how long, and they're kind of the mystery meat of vegetables as well. And then the bread is probably okay, but again, it, like most of these people leave it sitting out on their ovens or on their cabinet counters for indefinite periods of time. Oh, you had the white Gilgamesh? I've avoided alcoholic drinks with milk since my experiment of putting some Irish cream in some uh, grapefruit juice a while back. That was the first and only beverage that I've been unable to drink. It was only a small amount, don't worry, but like, the acid does not react well with that. Hey, a wild clocktopus. Uh, the teensy is huge because of all of the needles and razors that we've been feeding her to gain and extract nine schmouters with our money. It's actually because it was one of the first donation milestones that we passed in the stream. So the teen season tots are now slightly larger. You know what's one thing I just realized was hysterical? One of the first mod milestones that we had set up was to retexture the polyhedron. And in the entire stream so far, we've never been close enough to the polyhedron to see what it looks like without the depth fog. <laughs> and we are probably not ever going to come close to it in the route at all. Daniel has his... No, Artemi Burach Real has his priorities in order. I feel so refreshed and ready to continue begging this teensy for schmouters, but I know that we cannot do this. For now. 
We'll come back soon. All right, sweet. Next up, Big Vlad. Is he a Hongshu kind of guy or a Snork Me 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 kind of guy? <laughs> Tough question. I think he sleeps like a log and never dreams. <laughs> but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east and Aglaia is the sun. It's 7 a.m. and it's morning for me. And Aglaia finally has arrived in the town, my best friend. Yippee. Joy and celebration. At last, I can game in natural light. This will work wonders for my health, I hope. <laughs> Check my order. Oh, it does have a teensy! Perfect! And she's right next to one of the images, too. Well, we can- And she has a shrouder on this attempt. Perfect. Alright, Hev, I think I have you to thank for this. And we've actually earned enough uh, trading materials to make two more schmouters here. So we're going to be on it for a bit. There we go. The last schmouter that we needed. Thank you very much for your contributions to society. Now down the street. Yeah, so we don't get any news about our Thanatica yet. Excellent, because if we just skip talking to Aglaia on every other day, we're not going to ever get that information. And that means it doesn't happen. And that means our quest for one million dollars of funding will not be in vain. <laughs> I respect you for that. They seem like pretty nice guys. Also, like, fun fact. If you are of that opinion, if you are of that persuasion, go into fly mode while you're in one of the shops and take a look at what they're wearing underneath the shopkeeping outfit. And enjoy that. Yeah, I would say it's a feature of the game. It also applies to bad grief, kind of, but in a lesser way. Like, grief has chaps down there. I usually get up a little earlier than 7, or wake up a little earlier than 7 and sleep it, or stay in bed for another hour after that. So we're at slightly more than 24 hours of me being awake. Ah, that's really sweet of you, thanks. I'll make an instant coffee in the microwave in your honor. I can't guarantee that this will be good. At the last apartment that I lived in, the tap would boil water, which was probably some kind of health and safety violation, but it was really convenient in that I could walk over to the sink and just pour some tap water and boil my instant coffee in it. And now I'm forced to use such foul implements as the microwave. John, if I give you 12 pounds, will you microwave monster? How much monster are we talking? And what flavor? I have three flavors, which are the white one, the normal one, and the pink one. And are you suggesting that I do this as a replacement of coffee? Like in lieu of coffee? I will say, um, uh, a mug. Well, I have mugs of varying sizes, don't I? The question is also if you're giving me 12 pounds, or if you're giving Extra Life 12 pounds. And since this is a stream where I do terrible things to myself, my, like, state of mental sanity for charity, I'm gonna say you're going to have to make a donation for that one. <laughs> Microwave monster and instant coffee are part of a healthy pathologic breakfast. If I mix them together, maybe that would approximate wiring. Ugh, okay, so I think that might have broken it because we did not get the family reunion option. What was the trigger that we were supposed to get for this? We might need to just backtrack for a while. Hmm. I think I'll just try replaying a fair amount of that day and see if doing anything different helps. Perhaps a kind suggestion 
trusting that a donation will be made later as planned. I have microwaved one mug of Ultra Rosa Monster for 50 seconds. I was making a vile kind of seething noise. I regretted this as soon as I poured it because I actually like this flavor. And I don't want it to be bad by being hot. Let's have our taste test. Huh. Interesting, it's very acidic. But the heat of it is doing something very nice for my throat. Not the worst beverage I've ever had. I would actually probably make this on purpose again in the future. Describe what's under the shopkeepers. Keepers. Oh, you mean the cursed experience. Um, I can go ch I actually don't know if I can so show on Twitch. Sorry. Um, the shopkeeper texture is comprised of, like, his hands and his face and his shirt. And, like, the parts of the shopkeeper that you can't normally see have weird UV mapping going on because you're not supposed to look down there. Like, other parts of the texture can show up. It's fine. And between the shopkeeper's thighs, there are two specific fingers that appear in a extremely sexual manner. No space for needles in the inventory. That's Oh, let's put a rat in here. Surprise gift for the homeowners. Ah, happy slightly past 9 a.m. That means we're two-thirds done with the stream. Only eight hours to go. <laughs> I'll just try my best not to think about that number. We're still on track for finishing kind of around the end of day 11. Alright, Mark, this is better work. Please. Yes. Yes! Okay, great! I need an executor mask and a cloak. Please, 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 please. To do a job. You are not entirely honest, esteemed sir. Okay, so what? Super off. Okay, sure. Thanks, man. <laughs> It goes speak to Taya right now. I could, you could do that. The termitary is open. I'm pretty sure Taya is available to uh, greet. <laughs> no, little Gorkhan boy, don't wander into the three plague clouds. Sanity is going okay, Kasparov. How's it going for you? I feel like I have a handle on the events of the game still. It gets easier from this point. I've been practicing for so many hours already. And now that we figured out how to get this quest to activate at the correct time, no more complaints. Mr. Real. <laughs> Mr. Real is like a bootleg version of Boney M's hit song, Daddy Cool, isn't it? It didn't insta kill, and he didn't even aggro on me after that. <laughs> Such a forgiving community in this town. Zimbarov abusing the power he's been given is endangering the life of a certain Peter Stamatin. <laughs> Ask Stamatin yourself, then again, no, don't. Well, he's my friend. Cool, cool. And we're friends too. Love and joy on Earth. As always, it would be nice if I could re-implement Victor's back door. I think the issue, like, since we know how to make doors work as new doors with modding, the issue is more so that the baked-in lighting for Victor's scene here is kind of busted. Oh yeah, okay, the vaccine blows them completely out of the water. Thank you so much for checking that. You know, we are absolutely going to clear a million dollars. I have no doubt in my mind. I, I want to set a record. Have... The family drama is not yet complete. We are walking over to Peter to complete it right now. Yeah, our bounder not doing ideally. 
we have given three out of the four of them antibiotics today, so they're doing better than for the rest of the week, at least. Do you happen to have anything in your kneecaps that would be useful to trade to me? Not really. Which reminds me, I should be working on getting rid of some of these crowbars. Nobody's watching, except this little boy, but I don't think he's worried about it. Rep is still fine. It's not decreased enough to affect anything bad yet. And we'll recoup the difference right up here. As long as this guy doesn't hit us with his knife. On the throw, that is. I'm glad that this non-solid fence blocks it. <laughs> you made him cry. I'm bullying him on the playground. And they had a psychic battle. I would like a white vaccine, two doses preferably. I've been told he confiscated several. How's Ruben doing? We haven't heard from Ruben in forever. Yes. Hey Peter, how's it going? That twirin makes your head wooden. Good. And he will give us the mask and a lens. I forget that we get a lens from this. They do have table meat, that's a good sign. Always represents an affluent family when they have meat on the table. Literally. And when you can just pick it up without anyone noticing. Bends over to tie my shoe and the family roast is gone when I look up. Do you think we can get 100 lemons by the end of the route? I think it should be easy. If we put a bit of effort into it. Oh, they're creeping. They're on a date together. And they're about to throw a knife at my head. The most challenging part. I don't think he's here yet. I th Maybe he's in the back. I think he's still in the back at this point. It's in the changelings route that he stands out in the center of here. Hello. Any totally fake haruspices back here? Ah, yes. Here he is. At last, we meet face to face. <laughs> what was that? Oh, and he has Kermit still. Awesome. You shouldn't have come, Moidon. It's dangerous here. <laughs> what are you doing here? Went to the avatar and you got something cool. Blood. Blood again. I've never met you in my life. Whose blood is this? Okay. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. Did he add it to our inventory? Let's just check it. Hmm. Oh, it's on the ground. Is it? Oh, let's do that again. Alright. Don't know why that kicked us out of the dialogue for a minute. What was that? By day 8, they have chances for high quality meds and clothes. Day 10 adds their better medicine. Okay, excellent. I will keep looking at them then. Non contact deliveries. I appreciate that for him. So I think Ruben's place might still be open for us to go examine our blood, which is good because we've been using it as storage. Let's take a look at this blood that we got though. Looks fine. I don't think we need to do anything else with that. It just doesn't mark us with a quest update. Oh, is this one full now? Hmm. Suboptimal. Is there any of this that we can put in or get rid of? OK, 
Okay, we might have to trade to get rid of that then, because the only remaining storage will be the still water. Like, capping all of the places that we could conceivably store items in was not an issue that I expected to occur with this challenge run. However, it certainly does seem to be one that exists. Yeah, I've reached a point where I can't put any new uh, stacks of items into uh, either Subarov's or Ruben's uh, containers. And we might have filled Eva's as well. For items within a stack, though, I think they'll stack up to st the maximum stack size of that thing, no questions asked. So you could put 99 lemons in a drawer, but you couldn't put 99 knives in one. No rat, don't walk into the fires. I'll save you. It is good in terms of lemon sweep. We should be at what, like, at least 70 lemons by now. 68. Not quite. 100 may be just a little bit of a stretch. And then if anyone else has a container in the game that we could borrow, that would be good to know. Oh, I wonder if we could store shit in Var's house. You know, that might be an excellent idea. It should be unlocked for the entirety of the game, right? Yeah, it's just hidden in the back there. Yeah, I think Var's house might be the professional gamer strat. Oh, hi, Tinsy. We have, I think, three points worth of trading materials. Not enough to get a schmatter if we wanted to. Barley's warehouse does lock, unfortunately. We got locked out of it when we um, completed the quest to deal with Barley. And I think that's because Grief tries to sell us the warehouse afterwards for 30 grand. Money, which we are not forking over. We'll leave the most valuable of these in our inventory. We have something like 150 alpha tablets. That's kind of good. <laughs> Put a rat here as well. Don't need it, don't want it. 150 alpha tablets is worth 30k. Okay, excellent. <laughs> That's not the worst that it could be. So we get to day 9 soon, and day 9 has some of the most fun engagement with quests that we're going to have. That being Panacea Time 2. We do have plenty of those. I'm feeling good. The body is starting to get a little more sore, but... Still super excited about what we are accomplishing. We're about three quarters done now, I believe. Yeah, if it's 11, we should have six more hours to go. And they're gonna be a breeze. We're basically set on the front of money and just aiming to get a little bit more in. I think. It's on my best estimate. That's good. Again, getting a lot more clothing drops from the infected houses than from the burned ones. Which sort of makes sense given the like context of what burned does to objects in a house, typically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like bait being bitten by a rat would cause approximately the same amount of damage as getting punched by a person. If you get that puncture wound, that's probably going to take a while to heal. Probably poses significant health risks. Yeah. No oh, counter meat. Don't mind if I do. And some milk as well. They left it out for me like the Santa of stealing items. We don't have space in our inventory for this fish either. I would hate to eat a nut. I'll have to drop this on the ground, take the fish, eat the fish. And then pick up the nut. What motivates our Timmy Brach real? That's right, the nut. 
I'm actually very satisfied with how the route has split itself between sections of doing like one kind of thing at a time. It feels natural. Oh, and Big Vlad might have died. Wait, that's interesting. Totally accidental on our part. But interesting. Yeah, no, he's perished. Too bad. Got an opportunity to stop this. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> My bad. And Capella is actually sick. Okay, great. Good to know. Yeah, see, it was just the next time that we entered a building. Still far before dawn. Train sweep. Train win. Oh, and this is one of the most beautiful images that we have really seen so far, and it's it's displaying backwards, because evidently this version of the painting does that. I want so badly to find one where it displays correctly. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, home of all of this stuff. <laughs> it's a really beautiful work of art, isn't it? Well, Hedron time. Yay! It looked like this all along. Yay! Can I navigate this without looking down? Um... Kind of? Yeah, I feel like the purple aspects of it got kind of blended out in the uh, many effects that were applied to the image here. It's kind of there. Cotton candy polyhedron is so real. Eighties windbreaker polyhedron. Yeah, it is the bi-flag colors. This was another one of our donation milestones that was uh, acquired super early on. We've just never been to the polyhedron before. Hey kids, how's it going? Purchase is off limits, but I brought you important news. I needed to get into the agate pit. Yay, and we get to speak to Han for the first time. Common sense suggests that we aren't going to topple the tower by being in here. My name is Kaspar, now you name yourself. Bachelor Burach, real. Your friend, your fam family? Yeah, totally. Bachelor Burach, real. You were quite eager to examine the polyhedron, weren't you? Yeah. I'm ready to negotiate. Okay, cool. We need weapons. Sure. Sure. Okay. I've processed your request. I'll get back to you then. Excellent. Now this will let us ask Block for rifles. We are certainly not going to give them to children. But we are going to sell them. And we are going to get money from them. In three to five business days. Hi, Lara. We got this gun for you. It's a double-barreled pocket pistol. <laughs> if luck is on your side, it may penetrate plywood. Thanks. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take all the panacea you've got. Well, the panacea we are, of course, going to sell, because it's worth a fair amount more than the Schmouders. So if we do end up curing any bound, they're just going to have to suffer the consequences get to see our friend Block, finally. I would have woken up here, but <laughs> I think he expects us to have woken up here. I want to see what our dialogue shakes out like. Hello. What? I'm glad that you've made it, Bachelor Burach. Real. Oh, I wonder if that's different dialogue than when you go through the abattoir. Hey, yeah, yeah. I know we've, this is the first thing I've ever said to you, buddy, but I need a few rifles. What for? Personal needs. No, I do not understand. What kind of needs? Don't you trust me? 
Perhaps I could make an exception and issue firearms to a civilian, but in order to do so, I need to know exactly what they are going to be used for. For the boys, they're asking for rifles. Self-defense. For self-defense, I'm willing, out of deepest respect, to issue one rifle and three clips to you personally. You have two rifles. Are you hiding something from me? No. <laughs> Aw. Uh, well, I would have been able to make double the money if I had two rifles. Thanks, though. Right. Hey, lads. Want to go on a jog with me? Atta boys. There we go, another double kill. See, it always happens on this particular quest. That might have been a triple, actually, if I'm counting correct. Oh, no, one of them is just stuck over here. Excellent. A good return on our investment. It does give us rep lowers, but only very minor ones. to avoid killing this one guy who stands over here but isn't related to the quest. I need to admire this big gun. We have never been out this way. Our Timmy Brach reel has never set foot in this step. And Murky is probably going to be infected at this point, like, by the stats, right? It is more likely than not. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally sure. We don't need to traverse this area of town often. This is who we're speaking of, by the way. In case you missed it. Oh, Murky does look like she's okay. That's nice. Excellent. So this must be the carriage that they talked about, right? So let's see if I can just snipe this dude in the back of the head. Rifle is still totally fine on durability, right? So as long as I'm out of the line of sight of these other guys, probably okay. Can't reach me. Lol. Mao. Oh, he went down hard. There's so many of them. Okay, three, four, five. Rep is at zero. Okay. Hmm, and if they shoot us, we have no way to respond to that. Just by having, like, a decent amount of health, to the best of my knowledge. So we just need to keep a little bit more distance. We absolutely have enough rifle bullets for this. Like, it's an investment I've made. Oh, maybe you could sneak into it from above. I haven't tried that, but I do just want to <laughs> kill these soldiers. <laughs> I've been missing this kind of bloodlust at action. No, we just can't get any closer to them. Maybe there's a location trigger that's alerting these guys when I try to move in. What is this run if not the colossal violence of neglecting our doctor's duty? Infinite money glitch, just kill everyone. <laughs> I think that's how the economy works. We might need to reorient at between killing these two guys in that case. Oh, 
There we go. And that should be all of them, unless there's somebody hiding inside the train car. 1062 and Flamer Fuel, which I think there is literally no use for Flamer Fuel anywhere. Maybe Grief buys it. Maybe someone else will buy it? Does it have a typical item price? All you can do is sell it. Oh yeah, okay. Selling it is fine. No problem with that. And now we aren't going to be able to walk anywhere in town without being shot to death. Oh, nice. Please let me take them all. Please, 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 please. I want rifles. I want to take all of the rifles. Do we oh, we're out of space in our inventory because we have this flamer fuel. Awesome. Let me go and like throw some of this at Vars. Hey, lads. You guys doing anything important here? <laughs> oh, he's shooting at me because I'm bad and evil. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, don't mind me, guys. I think we might only be able to survive this if we get the head... Oh, never mind. We can, in fact... Uh, manage to enter into melee here and not get killed immediately. Not that that went super well, but, you know, good enough. We're probably going to need to do, like, five to ten of these to fix our rep. Why do I have this blood sample? I don't want that. This is, like, the dead money of Pathologic. Is it really worth destroying your reputation to get 20 rifles? <laughs> and the answer is yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, never mind, the containers in here do reset, so we did not keep anything that we had stowed in here previously, which is a major inconvenience. So much for thinking we could uh, <laughs> exploit the people that we murdered in this community. Oh, Lara has one. Okay, that's good to know. Lara should already be antibiotic for today. So if we can make it up to her place, that'll be another, like, dimension of storage that we can exploit. Just ahead. Oh, is it over here? Yes. Excellent. I remember this thing. Excellent. You get to hold my guns. And I need the nuts for teensy sweep. But some of these... And some of these... And they'll just, like, trust that this remains here. All of the districts are doing pretty bad at the moment, aren't they? <laughs> Let's hope Lara doesn't notice them. Yeah, we went to so many troubles to give her a fake gun the other day. Who knows what she would do with 10 real ones we didn't save after that, did we? Yeah, still holding together. Four more hours now. Now that's a small and attainable chunk of time. That's like the max amount of time that I typically spend on the pathologic stream. I think we do want to do our teensy hunting after we put away the rifles at Lara's, though. So let's focus on doing that first. <laughs> Actual pathologic characters at least get some sleep. You haven't heard? Ruben hasn't gotten to sleep for three days. He doesn't think he can stand one more. Oh, thanks for the prime sub. Love your username. These two teensies are having a psychic battle from opposite rooms of the house to determine who gets to hold the schmatter today. And typically they are both losing. Please. My friend started off making one schmatter a month, and now they earn at least 12 schmatters a day.
He model swaps children's college, right? That's the best part. Now, the, the college fund for the model swap children, not the fund for the college which is dedicated to model swap children. It's like a special, like, an academic accommodations type of... Sorry, did the words that I said make any sense at all? We might be past the point of... Not the Ty Lopez! You can't do this! You can't tell me I have 46 schmouters in my schmouter account. And only 1 million disposable gloves in my disposable gloves account. And only 41 towns in my Gorkhan account. Oh, James, some important context to our TNC setup is that the very first TNC that we met in this run had a Schmouter that we were able to purchase, and then for like six days, not a single TNC in the town had one. And then... Alma, let me know how we actually are supposed to farm them from these houses with lockpicks. And the rest was history. Now, what would be really funny, if completely inefficient to do, would be some tallying of how much of the monetary assets we have in this game are, like, ill-gotten and stolen and plundered versus earned by interacting with people. Actually, to do that, I should probably just be able to look at my Google Doc of the quests that we ended up doing. Block is not wearing his jeans, but you know what? Just for you, I'm going to install Block's jeans. I know I saw the file laying around my other installation somewhere. Hang on. And we're up to something like 260 hard saves in my Steam installation. Probably 160 from this marathon. Probably more like less than that. I think it's this, I just need to install it. Not that we're really going to be talking to Block a lot, other than the cathedral scene, but that's still going to be worth it. Five hour streams used to be about five gigs. So the question is whether or not the VOD is going to be larger than a typical installation of Pathologic 2. Truly invigorating, yeah. I had the leftovers of my kebabs from last night. It was like a mixed kebab plate with rice. Very delicious. Just a lot of meat textures that work well together. And some olive. And a little bit of cucumber. Now we can venture in here, and I wonder if Creep's infected. We haven't seen him. Three hours into the stream, we had our little concert where I sang my song about bad grief. So I think, yeah, timestamp-wise, that's probably around 3.30. It will be highlighted later. But that comes back around to, like, how astonished I am at how quickly we fulfilled our original donation goals for this stream. I've extended the boundary, or, like, Goal set up a little bit, but we haven't had any new stre stretch goals to fill that. Still, I'm really impressed with the turnout. Really glad that everyone's joined in and been so supportive. Hey, Ruben is home now. Yeah, this is what Ruben has. He has some vaccines, a bit of meat that I left him as a snack. He has a rat, a gun, a bunch of knives, some cloth, and more knives. Hey, Leo. Glad to see you back to as well sit up differently his beautiful one coin badges yeah let me, let me go it can't be georgi was supposed to put me to death farewell ruben <laughs> why oh, blasphemy of course okay well is simon still there 
Uh, no, well, Katarina said something about it, though. Yay, yay. Well, let's go talk to Maria about that, then. Oh, say that again. What? Say that again. I'd rather not go looking for another hideout. Say that again. I'd rather not go looking for the grip of the man It can be around. <laughs> really good voice line. Do you think Ruben would like Among Us? I don't think he has the competitive stealth games temperament. Like, his, Ruben's entire thing is that he's honest. He would be a terrible imposter. He would be, like, morally incapable of playing Among Us. I think Ion is still in the house, right? Yeah, does she have anything new to say? Not at all. We can admire this. This was our first photo upload incentive. And thus it has a special place of honor in my heart and in my starting house. We were going through all the like ancient ones for the Daniel streams. Yeah, this is what Eva is storing. I can probably take some of this out now because I have the same stack items on me. And that'll let me put some of these four rifles that I'm carrying away. Aglaia still hasn't told us anything negative about the status of our laboratory. So that's a good sign. And feeding Aglaia my stovetop loaves. Blessing endeavors of the day were fulfilled at the expense of several lives of your bounty. And that's it, it's day 11, the most important day of the year. Let me run over to Ruben's house on the way over to Andre's and see how much I can take from him to sell, like, first off the bat. This is the most important part of the stream, the part where we sell all of our assets and see if we've actually made it up to uh, 1 million. I'm pretty sure we have, right? Evening letter from Aglaia. Nice to hear from her. I'm going to uh, <laughs> compost this letter and see if I can sell that. Sure hope Ruben didn't get infected yesterday. Grief might have, but we don't care as much about grief. No, he's fine. That's nice. Perfect, my best friend Ruben. Still hale and healthy. And not in prison. Now how much of this can we take out at one time? I don't want the badge. I'll put that back when we have the chance. And apparently these vaccine doses don't stack. Hmm. And I guess those are the last four things that we have in here. We'll come back and sell those off later then. Yeah, our cash on hand is at about 215,000. And we'll hang on to just a bit of our protective clothing so that we can deal with the soldier quests during this day. Oh, is that an herb ride walking around? That's a lucky sign. Let's see if she has anything new to tell us. Besides walking into the trash cans. Oh no, she's fleeing. We can't talk. Oh, never mind. What's with this odd smile? Uh, touch me tenderly. Ah, huh. okay. I'd rather not do that. We shall all disappear soon. Only you will remain. I want you to be happy. Ah, uh, the meta awareness. Those up above us will de be deciding our fate. Huh. Okay, we'll see. Good luck with that. This is your totally not in my own hands. Alright, all right, let me in. She knows about her quest and our mission. I have monomycin. Can help them live to see tomorrow. And let's say hello to Andre just w once, real fast. The are this is really something, old boy. We admire the advertisement for Royal Dan Skalky. 
Yeah, and then let's just review the setup that we have in this first cycle. We've got a lot of these. I think we're going to save the rifle ammo for now so that we can use the rifle in a quest. We've got all of this clothing-wise. We're at 18 Schmouters, 201 Alpha Tablets. I'm going to wait to sell the Schmouters until we get the last one from this quest. Four Panaceas, a whole lot of rations, and some other garbage. I meant to get rid of the rat, but I guess this guy will probably buy it. All right, so I'm actually going to plug in my mouse for this because I don't want to injure myself or break my trackpad. Which is also pulling out the plug for my Bluetooth receiver, so if that breaks the audio, let me know. And we get the best song in the game. <laughs> yes, I've been playing all 24 hours with my trackpad. This is how I do things. <laughs> the challenge of a true gamer. Oh, it's so much nicer to navigate this menu with a scroll bar too. Right, you can pay $9 for this chest badge. That's actually pretty good. The rat we can keep with us. Uh, razors, crowbar, none of that sells for anything super worthwhile. I don't want to start selling the food quite yet, but we can sell all of these tablets and pills. 36,000 a pop for our panacea and our white vaccine, and we have a couple of those actually. Ruben has another in his uh, home. <laughs> Artemi Brach reels, quipping animal companion. Uh, we are absolutely going to make the financial goal, by the way. Just thinking about it and looking at it. It looks good. We are so going to Dorsia. <laughs> Can we get rid of our other revolver if we're keeping... We have so many rifles. We're never going to want in our life for rifles. And I can sell the white vaccine because we're not going to need to use that anywhere else. I can sell all of our meat, I think. But I do want to stack up as many of each type of that ration as we can. The razors do sell for a decent quantity, so I can get rid of those as well. The rotting meat, yes. Watches might hang on to those for now. The bandages, those go for a pretty good amount. We'll be trading for more of them throughout, so see if we can get a bigger stack of those before selling them. So we're selling right now about $145,000 worth of stuff to the bartender. And his facial expression probably reflects how it would if we tried this in the real world. Let's do that and start holding about 360. That's not even everything that we had in Ruben, which is one third of our asset storage, roughly. If we're going up to Lara's, then we can come back down across by the town hall and start our extreme sports car driver quest. And just for like integrity, I'm going to continue using my trackpad for the uh, parts of the game that are not selling items. Such as attacking this guy. <laughs> Don't they know they're attacking Town and Gorkhan's soon to be first millionaire? We're going to displace the Olgimsky families from the town hierarchy. Which is probably good because Big Vlad is dead and Capella is sick. And Young Vlad, he feels also not so good. Alright, Ruben, buddy. Time to clear out the old supply cabinet. Maybe we should use that med kit. Polyhedron 2. <laughs> Again, I mentioned I wanted our bachelor to get an extreme sports car. For the drawers of extreme sports car driver. I'm developing some kind of accent. <laughs> oh, I want to see Clara. 
when I talk to my friend Clara. We haven't actually... You know what? Now that you mention her name... No, we did. She was by Katarina. We saw Clara once in the route. And she was just kind of hanging out by Katarina. We've heard nothing else about her ever. Same with our one time that we ever talked to Artemi being like a kid in the panacea from him. We don't need our fellow doctors for anything. We're playing our own story tonight. A big day for fans of rotting meat as we finally retrieve our pieces of groceries out of the still water that have been laying there for 10 days now. We can't even carry this fish. Hmm. Let me think about this. We can carry most of the fish, and we can carry the boots and a lot of the knives. Not all of them. We are going to need another trip back here anyway, so I'm not going to worry about the fish. <laughs> Me and my knife and my knife and my knife and my knife and my knife. We're going to the store. give that two hours of sleep I think is enough to work for this we are selling them later probably I don't think we're going to need all 18 schmouters to make the cure because that counts for uh, 10 schmouters is probably 260,000 that's like 500,000 right there yeah it's a goodly amount isn't it <laughs> But yeah, if we see a pharmacy on our way over, we might want to try to stop and buy something that will let us talk to Lara. And then the fourth place to go is Saburov, who is actually super close to Andre, so I might just run it back and forth between there and the pub for a little while. Alright, buddy, I've got some more things for you. <laughs> How about... That's two, four, six, eight, eleven knives. That seems like a good start today. Let's sell. Oh, I can't wait to see how much our 201 alpha tablets are going to be worth. Are you ready for me to click through these? Let me put the mouse close to the mic so that it gets picked up. Yeah, I'm using it. I'm not insane here. Let's confirm that so I don't have to do it again. <laughs> yeah, it's about 80k worth of alpha tablets. And the knives, so maybe more like 50k, right? The bandage sets are worth less than I thought. However, the vaccines... Oh, the blue vaccine is nothing compared to that. Hmm. We can sell our four panacea. And that gets us up to over 630k on its own. Twiring sells for a pretty good price here too, that's like... 25,000? We can get rid of all of that, Andre can have it. Again, this isn't even half of the stuff we have stored in our storage closets. And it's not even like counting any of our food or any of our schmouters. I don't think I want these nuts. It'll clear up a bit of space. Six hundreds. 
thousand and seventy thousand six hundred and seventy thousand is that yeah the person who was asking if there were enough items in the game to make one million dollars let's see what Saburov has to add on to this I'll make a hard safety to how much we just sold and I'd like to reiterate I don't know what's going to happen when we hit the stack limit of one million money It could crash the game, it could do nothing, it could overflow, it could like break something completely different. It could like prevent us from putting any more money into the stock. And there's a new ending. Oh, I wish. We should implement- Oh, and Saburov has taken the opportunity to get infected. Well, I don't think we can deal with that right now. We're just gonna have to buy a antibiotic from the- place next to Peter's, ideally. That's convenient. Are right, Timmy real? Are <laughs> right, Timmy brah, real solid depository ending? Okay, good. Monomycinium, lots of them. I think we can invest $10,000 in this just to make sure we don't run into any struggles with our storage. Yeah, they're so fun. on my scene. Give it to them. I'm going in. I left all my knives in your daughter's bedside table. Let's see how many knives that is. Oh, I left all of my repellent ankle boots in there. That is actually quite a small table, or maybe we already grabbed some stuff out of that. When you ask about news around town, we give you the path of shopkeeper's stare. Great, everything we needed from Suburov then. And we'll go over to Lara's next after I drop these off at the shop. Why do you all come here? Betting on 1.8 mil. Okay. I'll book that in. Throw in another 24 hours. <laughs> you wouldn't do that to me, would you? Over 700,000? I've got to do the Hurspex one now. Not consecutively, I would hope. There wasn't too much left in there. And the rifles are only 9,000 each, no? But we do have the rifle bullets as well. Okay, fishies, medicines, medicines, and two more rifles. <laughs> Khan would love to see us now. Hmm. Free panacea. That's nice. <laughs> We didn't even have to do a quest for her to give us that. Now we shouldn't need to go in- Oh, and they're both huge! I forgot! Hey, kids. Hey, look! It's Bachelor for the Bachelor. Help up for sure. Uncle Bachelor, is it true that you can do anything? Oh, absolutely. Um, consider this. Oh, his inventory is totally out of order as well. <laughs> Yeah, we're sitting at something like 71,000, and that's about to increase by a lot. We have 30 bandages, that's quite good. And we have an etorphine. How did we get etorphine? I don't remember picking that up. We'll get there. We have just a little bit more to do first. Let's save it at 842,000. Hmm. The way they all turn at once. Yeah. <laughs> like the Metal Gear Solid alert sound should play when this occurs. If you press the push ups button, yes, I will do some push ups on the ground right now. It will not kill me. It will probably revitalize me, reinvigorate me, prepare me for the ordeal of attacking all of these soldiers. Excellent. Thank you for the push-ups, Revelator. Let's enjoy this beautiful rainy vista as I do that. You had to work up the muscle to kill all of these soldiers somehow. 
we might need to eat like just one of our rations. We have 81 lemons. I think that's pretty decent. Complexity, mm. New York. Eat each lemon. We will die. We cannot eat 81 lemons. Okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll see how many we can survive. How many lemons we can stand before our tiny rock reel collapses. Oh, wait. This doesn't actually affect our... Why isn't this doing anything to our health? Why is this affecting exhaustion? That's not what it's supposed to do. Wait, it is supposed to reduce exhaustion, but it isn't damaging our health. Okay, shit. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought we would die if we ate a lemon. Or if we ate 81 lemons. Yum. And an egg. Now let's reload that and sell them instead. <laughs> Wash it down with the egg. Hello, under his bartender. Watch me eat 81 lemons and then, like, outpour the entire weapons production of this continent towards you. Most awake man on Gorkhan. I got some extra boots to sell, too. Okay. I want to. S I sold my alpha tablets already, yeah? So, this stuff in our inventory actually fits on screen for once. So, I think we're going to make it. Maybe to like 1.4 mil is my bet. Let's sell our 81 lemons to this guy instead. Maybe we can get a bit more than that with the 18 schmouters, because these are each. No, they're only 18,000 each. Yeah, 1.4 sounds solid to me. Wish we could trade off those crowbars as well. Hang on, I'm going to step outside and uh, exchange my empty water bottles for some filled water bottles. And those will be worth slightly more, I think. Probably created such a weird looking safe file for this one bartender. Right, well now we sell 14 Meridorm. We might want to keep some of that for ourselves, actually. Let's sell 13. Or, yeah, 13 Meridorm. Sell some delicious eggs. Those go for quite a lot. Sell some milk. Sell some dried meat. 76! We have 76 crackers. Not the worst. If we had the stuff from VAR, maybe we would get a reasonable amount further. These vegetables sell for way less than I expected, by the way. We should have been eating this stuff the whole time. Instead of spending medicine. And this gets us up to, like, a million without using any of our schmouters. So theoretically, I wonder if we could sell the, um none of the schmouters and heal everyone in the town. 18 is a reasonable amount for this, right? I do like that. I'm gonna like, uh, I think I want to do that as the ending and then come back here, reload, and see how much we would actually total if we also sold the schmouters. Even though that is like a f flat amount, if we have any more items left over. And I can afford to eat some fish as well, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so selling the bandages should get us close to that. And then I'm going to stop around 9978 and like say a couple of closing words to the stream. Yeah, so this has been an 
astonishing experience. I'm really happy with how everything has worked out throughout the past 24 hours. Not only that we've achieved our goal in the game, but that we've more than achieved our goal of fundraising in real life. We have helped to make miracles happen, just like Bachelor Artemi Brachuriel would have wanted. We've funded our Thanatica. We've funded the Real Wars Thanatica. Thank you all so, so much for coming by, for participating, and for donating. I look forward to doing more like this in the future. Ideally next year, ideally with a bit of cooldown, I might see if I can do something similar outside of the framework of Extra Life as well. Um, yeah, thank you all so much again. And now let's see what happens when we <laughs> get one million money. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see. Huh. Okay, it gives us more than one million money. Sweet. <laughs> Yippee, the game can handle it. And the stack size is like completely a lie, I think. Unless it means that the stack size was 10 million all along and I misread it, right? I think it's that. Okay, let's um let's hold this one million money in our I'm going to come back and do the total later. I need to, like, set things right in this town. I need to heal everybody that we've got. And actually, I need to sleep for, like, a full day so that we get to the bound stats as they are on the last day of the game. Hit the jackpot one to million. Yippee. You've got mail. Oh, we've got mail. Who is it? The Hruspix wants to give us a warning? I don't think we need to. Actually, I... We can, like, if we want to invite him to the cathedral, we should probably do that, right? Do we need to talk to him on day 11, right? Do we? The, <laughs> the worst doctor in the town has somehow managed to do his job. Oh, we can. Yeah, Mario, I would love if you could run a poll for this. My vote is going towards Utopians. Yeah, if you can determine how this works with the mod tools. You've got mail. I think we just go there on day 12. Okay, perfect. So he's just like, no. This is the best sleep we've had in 12 days. The doctors in town are actually the teensies. So real. Yeah, I'm tempted to also, like, do the hidden room and still get the bad end. Congratulations, Burach. Real. Our elegant maneuver was a success. We took the winnings and placed our opponents into a position in which they have no other choice but to vanish. Kisses, Aglaya. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah, and Anna did get infected last night. Good thing that we slept here. I've got a box with a children's schmatter. I want to injure them for life. All right, so if we map out everything from here, um, we need to go cure Andre too. I think it's going to go up and around and then do kind of a traversal of the town so that we can get to the other kids next, right? And in the process, we can probably drop down and talk to our Temi there. Victory lap, victory lap of the town, precisely. They're individually acknowledging me as the true Burach. We've somehow managed to ascend to Isidore's goal without being related to or like knowing Isidore in any way. Enough people like me. Wait, I think we forgot to get the schmatter from the kids, actually. Kind of. Yeah, because we spent. Whatever. We have it in spirit. We, like, spiritually got 19 schmouters in the route. <laughs> I made one million dollars and cured everyone. Mr. Beast thumbnail. <laughs> well. Did you even need to sell a sh single schmouter? No. 
We have like 20 bandages to spare. That's something like $40,000 of margin in between us and selling any of our schmouter. Grace didn't need it. It's a marathon miracle. Yeah, absolutely. If you put a lot more effort into like targeting your money making where it has the most impact in game. And if you don't lose a bunch of your important medical items too far as like theft box, you should absolutely be able to get two mil. Because we're over by at least 200,000 with the Schmatters, right? So we'll check on Grief and Ruben in a moment. Uh, Notkin, we never said anything to Notkin in this route. We don't know of Notkin's existence or of Murky's. Notkin is fine, though, so that's, like, no problem. Bad and sweep! Awesome! <laughs> the perfect way that this could have gone. That absolute disrespect for the game of Pathologic that we have produced tonight. <laughs> if all teensies and tinies are huge, no, the powers that be are already naturally that size. Although, you've made me realize that since we are actually going to view them, I can make them small. I'm gonna do that real fast. Oh, well, if someone wants to donate to make me drink another cup of warm monster, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> the medic from TF2. Okay, I know this message says that he was in a crazy mood, but it is small and it is in the corner of my overlay and I have been up for a long time. And I read it as the medic from TF2 being in a sexy mood. Come up with just so many great concepts tonight, haven't we? Feeling myself might go and destroy a town. <laughs> I'm wearing a bisexual, like, patterned sweater, by the way, and have for the entire stream. Just thought you should know that. Not relevant to anything. Right, let's face our creators. All of the kids in here are big as well. Descent into the depths of the Hedron. <laughs> oh, they look so funny in contrast to all of the rest of them. Our terrifying huge kids. sweep. Alright, let's see if the mod worked. Can't, these are different models because they're using the cutscene. They're not supposed to appear that large in game because they are different cutscene models. I don't know if I could have replaced these ones too. And I'm not sure what makes them different. They look like skeletons. Yes! Small powers! We've done it! We've defeated them! Don't be upset. Being a toy is also nice. Ha! I hope I can still switch places with you someday. I think I've done that. Only I will be more humane. Tell me everything. What diabolical game were you playing? Did you know that your dolls were alive? Cool. Awesome. Good talk. I am a human being. In that case, you're a human being that closely resembles one of our toys. It's a bachelor, but we're calling Artemi Brach real for fun. There's nothing funny about it. It's time for you to go to a youth detention center. <laughs> Get small. What can you have chosen a different game? Ah, uh, because of real world reasons. You've always been scary doll playing with you with no fun. 
I'll heal it for my own sake, not for yours. We're not going to do that. Bad and sweet. You've got mail. New mail. A letter from the makers. Come by to meet us at the theater if you have a spare minute. Yay! And it's now officially 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So the stream proper has been up for a little bit more than 24 hours. The adventure of uh, Artemi Brach Real uh, from me starting to talk about it has been going on for 24 hours. I have fulfilled my contractual obligations to Pathologic. And we're just going to have a little bit more fun before we sign off tonight. Oh, and this is actually this is the moment where I met James and like by extension or like by which I came to meet James and by extension what really got me into the pathosphere. The moment that made all of these dreams possible. Where Dankovsky says, take my coat and my bag. Implying that like for the one time in the entire route and in the entire game, he can step out of the doll body of the bachelor and speak as the character of the bachelor. The Daniel bag lore. Foundational. Like, genuinely life changing. Do I hear laughter from under your ugly beak? Make way. Block. <laughs> he does have the pins. You won't see it for a second, though. If you've never been on one of my streams with Block before. This beautiful leg we're incoming. I know that like something like two hundred and eighty six thousand is possible in P two. And that might be with further items. There he is. Block. It's because on the texture that's used for his coat, the buttons for Block's coat are like the buttons that are used for Levi's jeans. So it's in character for him. It's canon adjacent. Play with our free will. I'll be right back. Hi, Maria. I'll just look at you. Tell us about the constellations. Hi, hey, Gloria. Hi, right, Timmy. Thank you all for being here today. I'm upstairs! Right, thank you so much for reminding me. We never even did anything with her quest. I'm like, I'm not sure we noticed anything in the lore that we have of Artemi Burach Real. The whole cathedral was looking at Block. I think my have been... <sighs> You're very beautiful, so lifelike. You're incorporeal, aren't you? You know I can fly. A miracle happened. I had to do a strain my legs a bit and fly. Do breathe life into this cathedral. Do not grieve, Eva. You have not died in vain. You've fallen down, you idiot. <laughs> Why are you shipping? Is there something depressing you? Uh, is it true that the Inquisitor has deceived us, pretending that evil is good? I think so. <laughs> okay. You come here again? Probably not, sorry. Could have lied to her. <laughs> Lost your chance to marry Rich. <laughs> so tragic. So unfortunate. I tell me. Clara's just kind of in the background there. There's not a single woman here fitting your description. What? Hmm. Are you a heavenly harbinger? Huh, weird. Okay. I shouldn't have brought you. <laughs> You're the vilest creature of all creatures I've met recently. And Aglija. There's little time. Let's not waste our time on unnecessary speeches. And I'm so glad that our Thematica made it through this without ever being destroyed. You can't tell me that it happened. <laughs> a 
All right. There will be no decision. I forego the right to make a choice. I will not decide the town's fate and present my arguments to you. Bad and sweep. And now we go back to the still water and sleep. And then we reload and sell the rest of our money. <laughs> Actually, sh <laughs> we could eat um, eight schmouters before we go to bed. Oh, the research has been preserved. There was no terrible fire that wiped out your life's work. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, surely not. They only cap it to a maximum if your uh, health is above that amount. Which is like 5% and not 1. I'm not sure it's a ruble. I don't have a grasp of like whether it maps to any real world currency. Okay. Let's do something reckless and irresponsible. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it was reckless and irresponsible. Uh, maybe if I drink some water first. Wash it down. <laughs> Honestly, funniest ending that we could have gotten for our Timmy Brach reel. Huh. Okay, I'm not sure that's what's supposed to happen in this situation. <laughs> We've done something miraculous, truly. Yeah, I don't know either blue voices. I think it's because we're in the inventory window, maybe. If we exit out of this, then we'll have to deal with the end of the game. I think that's what's going to happen. Well, let's just save this moment as I thank everyone again for tuning in, for like, being here, for supporting the stream, and for supporting uh, Extra Life. And hopefully um, we can now escape the town. Oh, no, I guess not. Um, it, okay, good. <laughs> there we go. How many days can you extend the path of class? Indefinitely if you just hold that window open, I suppose. Best end. And plague has devoured this land. It's so striking, right? <laughs> As we said, big day for fans of the rotten meat. the logic in action fans stay winning <laughs> and now we can sell all of our stuff and get like a conclusive evidence on the cash money but first we need to go pick up that schmatter from the town hall all right 
Now we can sell everything except the rat. We're keeping the rat. These razors sell for basically nothing, and I think the crowbars sell for zero, but I'm going to sell them anyway just for the iconography of it all. Is there water enough to push us over the edge of one mill? I think it might be. Yeah, water sweep. And then our kerosene will do that. It's a one million dollar rat. He's the guardian of and inheritor of all of our estate. I think my estimate of 1.4 won't be too far off. Maybe a bit over. The rat logic you may call it. <laughs> yeah, so when we sell the schmouters, it should get us to a bit over 1.2 then? Oh, perfect. 138. I was so close. One three eight two eight oh two. And shit, we have to sell this rifle. And I think we have some clothes that we forgot to take off. That's not the final tally. Hang on, stop the count. <laughs> One more rifle for this guy. He's like begging and pleading. Okay, and our final score of money is 1,390,902 money. <laughs> nice. So with the 18 Schmouters, we have a total of 1045650. Excellent. And that was the adventure of Artemi Brach Real. Thanks again. Bye.